So today I'm going to show you how I recently gained a potential audience of over 200 million with 370 placements of a press release in publishers such as Business Insider, National Post, Apple News, Yahoo, the list goes on and on and on. There's over 300 different publication sources here. And I did this using a new service from Press Ranger. If you're unfamiliar with Press Ranger, it's a really cool new platform for helping you uh, create press releases and distribute them. So there are a few component parts to it. Let me just show you them. The first is a database of publishers. So you've got filters down the side, so you can filter by your country, language, and sector. And you've got all these different uh, publications, which you can click into. It's a big database that will then allow you to go in and understand what they write about, contact email addresses, the website, so you can go and check it out. And because you'll set up your company profile here, it will tell you if they're a good fit for any releases you had. So in this case, this is saying it's a low fit for my company. The next element is a database of journalists. So again, you've got country language sector filter and scrolling down. Again, we've got the not a fit. And if you want to check out any of these particular journalists and see what they're up to, just like the publications, you can click in. Again, low fit because of uh, these reasons but we have the location, the language, what they're into, contact email address, LinkedIn profiles, so you can go and check them out. With the journalists, you can also add them to contact lists. You can have uh, an email. Now, the platform doesn't at the moment send emails. If I click to send an email, it will fire up my Outlook and it will populate it with a template or I can just send a blank email and just put the contact email address. And you can add them to a simple CRM Kanban board, so researching, contacted, follow up, or you can add a note. And that CRM is, is very basic, it's just Kanban board, so you can see we've got a couple of people here, there's the person I've just added, and you can just drag them across and just keep track of all the media contacts that you're reaching out to. Ideally, you want to form those kind of relationships, you want to pitch ideas, you want to make it something unique so that the journalist has something to write about. Well, if you're not sure what to write in your press release, there's an AI campaign generator. So this is an area where you'll give it some uh, details. So if we say start a new campaign, we'll just do test. I've already got my company filled in, but if you haven't, you can set up a company profile and when you set up the company profile, this is where you provide information. So the company name, the address, the sector, the language, description, city, state, where it is, privacy settings. You see, there's all this good stuff. It's all kind of basic uh, information. So you have to keep entering it. And so we've then got a type of release, so the launch of a new product, upcoming event, new partner announcement. Let's go with that one and release date and what am I announcing. So just for this example, let's just put that I've been granted CrawlQ consultant status and I'm gonna be using CrawlQ in all interactions with clients. Now, this is a quite a small box. You can put as much as you like in there. You can give it a lot more information, but let's say save and continue on this little test one. It's now gonna use AI to turn that information. And so the more information, the more specifics you can give, the better, but it's going to suggest a press release and also an email template to use in your pitch. So there we go. So here's the press release. It's combined the existing information it has on the company with what I've just given it. So click Sony Limited, announces my achievements of CrawlQ status. It's then written a full press release and it's even suggesting a quote. <laughs> it's actually a really good quote. Achieving CrawlQ consultant status is a testament to Click Sony's dedication to staying at the forefront of technology, technological advancements in the marketing industry. In this integration will allow us to provide our clients with even more tailored and impactful solutions, solidifying our position as their ultimate marketing partner. That's actually a pretty good uh, quote, actually. I, I quite like that. So that's your press release. You've got the main release. You've got a quote. You've got the about information. You've got contact inquiries. Uh, really good stuff. It's built it all for me. And then it's also suggested an email template. So you can see we've got uh, dear first name, hope this message finds you well, blah, blah, blah. And then it has a link uh, because what's really nice about Press Ranger is it's actually hosting this release. And if you add any images, so if we just go, there's the release that I've just shown you. That's just a link. And we can add uh, some images if we want. So if I say edit the release, so if you're not happy with anything about it, 
We can go into it now. We can say where we're based, so I'll just put UK. General announcement. Here's the press release. I can go in, edit that, that's just text, and I can add accompanying photography. So that might be an image just of me, it might be an image of two logos, whatever it is, give it a caption, you've got a secondary photo. That's all stored on this system so that when journalists click the link, they've got everything they need uh, to then take that forwards and, and go back and forth with you if there's any changes. So you've got the press release, you've got the email, and then when you want to distribute it, it's going to suggest people that you might want to send this to. So you can go through them, make contact manually one by one and uh, reach out and see if they're interested in the story. Now, I've tried this on a previous release and I've had some success reaching out and some people just want to me to change it a little bit, maybe make it a little bit more unique just for them. Others have said they'll publish it and uh, they'll do so for fifty dollars a hundred dollars that's that's been the price range seems to fluctuate between fifty and a hundred dollars so you could very quickly rack up quite a lot of charges if you want it in certain publications but what if you want to distribute it to all those publications i showed you earlier well that's where this new service comes in they have two that uh, they're offering there's a 79 dollar one but the one you really want to consider is a $299 one because you get everything in the basic, plus you will get into Apple News, AP News, Bloomberg, Fox, all those kind of ones. It's basically the North American Newswire. And when I put one through this, three to five business days was spot on. I very quickly started getting pinged by my brand monitoring service to say my brand was getting featured in a number of different places. So all you do is you click on this distribution button, you go down, you can have a little look to make sure that you've got everything correct, all the contact information, all that kind of stuff. You agree, you hit publish, and then you'll wait a few days and you'll eventually get this report. So this is the one that I sent out. And if we hit report, now here's something for you to consider is if you've got clients, this could be a really nice upsell for you because they generate a report for you, but you can see here, you can actually add your own logo. So typically when you view the report, it would say press ranger on it. But if you add your own logo, it will have your logo on. And so you can just generate this report and send it to clients. So you can see it's got all the publishers, it's got their monthly traffic, and these are links to the actual content itself. So we've got, uh, if we just scroll up, so it's got a nice little front cover release date, it's got the distribution report, the title, company, website, and the placement report. So it's got the icons there. And so let's have a little look. Business Insider. Business Insider. And there's my article. From what I've seen, there are other people that offer this kind of service, but it tends to be quite a bit more expensive. But that's a, a really interesting way of getting your brand featured and getting some of those links back to you. If Especially if you're a new company or new brand, this could be a great way of getting some external links back to your website just to demonstrate that you're a genuine business, you know, you're spending a little bit of money. And if you think about what I said earlier, if I were to charge, uh, if I was to get 300 plus placements and they all charge $50, that would be a lot more than the uh, money I, that you'd pay just to get them to do this for you. So there's some really cool options here. You could offer some press release writing services and just use AI to help you write the press release uh, until you get your feet onto you and learn how to do it. You could offer distribution uh, services as well and just upsell the, the um, main distribution element. So to you, it's 299, but you could offer it for, I don't know, 400, 500, whatever you want. So if you want to learn more about Press Ranger, I've got a link down below. And if you haven't heard of Crawl Q, the software I mentioned in the press release, go and watch this video.